Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to add new devices to Zabbix server using SNMP protocol. This can include routers, switches, access points, cameras, among other types of devices. I'll show you how to configure both sides, the host and Zabbix server, and how to deal with different SNMP protocol versions. I'll also show you how to generate some graphics and to activate the available triggers. Before we start, let me remind you that you can subscribe to the channel in order to support it. I will also ask you some uh, help to reach 1000 subscribers. I'm already uh, reaching that number, very close. And also press the bell button if you want to receive notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Now, let's do it. So before we start digging around SNMP protocol, let me show you what we have here already installed in our Zabbix server. As you can see in the host section, we have already an Ubuntu desktop machine connected internally, a Windows 10, it's the host machine, and the Zabbix server, it's the local host. In this uh, simple network schematic, you can see that I have my Zabbix uh, machine connected to a switch where I connect my Ubuntu desktop, the two VOS router machines that will be uh, configured today, and the Windows 10, that is my host computer, from which I connect to my uh, virtual box uh, machines. The two devices under uh, configuration, the VOS machines, are connected in the same local network to simplify the configuration so we can focus on SNMP. So moving on, I am connected to my first VOS uh, router, which will uh, be used for SNMP uh, version 2. I'm entering configuration. As you can see, I don't have any uh, network interfaces, so let's uh, set interfaces, Ethernet for the uh, ETH0 uh, with uh, DHCP. For Ethernet uh, uh, 1, I'll configure a static IP address, one nine. 216832254 in a network with 24 bits mask. Let me just give some names in the description option. So uh, ETH0 is my one interface and ETH1 is my LAN interface. Okay, so now the uh, network interfaces are set. We can uh, show the result. Okay, and now we can uh, commit these changes and save them. So we can move on to SNMP. Let's start setting the service by creating the community as public with authorization for read-only. Now set service SNMP in the same community where we will now establish the network. So 192.168.3.0 slash 24. Now let's enter the IP address of our server. So in the same community public, we put the client as 192.168.3.1. This is the IP address for our Zabbix server. Now let's uh, create the trap for the very same IP address, 192.168.3.1. Another comment, set service SNMP so we can establish the VOS to listen on the uh, IP address on Ethernet 1 port 161. Let's commit and save and here we are. Let me show you the final result. As you can see, we have established all the configurations for SNMPv2. So if you go here 
to our uh, Zabbix web page. We press create host. Let me enter a host name for it. I'll use the same name for the visible name. We can put the machine in the Linux uh, group operating systems and have SNMP. We are using version 2 and the community, as you remember, is public. So let me put the IP address 192.168.3.254 and this is what we need. Let me just put here a description and in the template tab we need to add the Linux SNMP template. Okay, you can see that it is set and the VOS with SNMP is already on the list. Now let me show you some network traffic on the ENP0S8 interface so we can check that Zabbix is already contacting our VOS router to get some information and you can see the green light stating that the machine is already available in our Zabbix so we are already collecting some data from this machine let me just check here data and yes we have already some items being collected from this machine so it's okay let me choose an item to show you uh, the graphics can be this one it looks like it's empty because we start collecting data a few moments ago but let me show you here more in detail but if we change the time scale you can see that we have already something being collected and shown here in our portal so it looks like everything is okay let's move on to the next VOS this one will be used for uh, version 3 of the protocol let me also have here uh, the network interfaces DHCP for Ethernet 0 static IP address for Ethernet 1 this one will be 192.168.3.253 slash 24 the same subnet let me also add some descriptions to my network interfaces this one will be my one interface and Ethernet 1 will be my LAN interface and we are set so let's commit and save this configuration and now I can show you it's okay so let's move on okay now we need to set SNMP service for this router the listen address will be 192.168.3.253 then we need to set a location for example if we have more than one devices to identify them this is where we establish for the first time the version 3 with the engine ID you can choose any number you want you just have to follow the rules for the size uh, in bytes let me create a view i will call it snmp view 1 with uh, oid 1 there are rules for oid always follow protocols and standards i will set my group in uh, read only mode and i will put security sec level private then I need to establish the view with my group it will be SNMP v1 moving on my user for this connection will be VIOS with authentication my passwords now let's set the authentication type with SHA 
could be enemy 5 also now let me set the group for this user I also need to set privacy for this connection and the password for it I'll use the same passwords now let me also establish the security level for this encryption so privacy will be AES let's commit and save it so let me show you the final SNMP service details as you can see the encrypted passwords have been uh, created and one last interfaces detail so moving on to our web page let me add this host I'll enter a name VOS SNMP v3 I'll use the same for the visible name let's add this machine to the operating systems group now we need to establish the protocol SNMP in this machine version 3 let me put the IP address 192.168.3.253 we don't put anything in the contest name but security will be our user virus now let's establish authentication private as HA1 with the passwords we have inserted privacy will be AES128 with the same password and we are done so let me add a description and set the template to Linux SNMP and we are finished let me add it as you can see we already have a VIOS SNMP v3 machine so let's check our detailed information it's already green because it's collecting as you can see we have uh, some items being shown not too many we'll have to dig on that I'll show what's happening in this case but first let me show you a graphic from an item that is not yet being collected should be clean okay as you can see nothing is uh, shown yet so let's dig into this problem later first let me show you some graphics so you can see that they are empty okay for version 3 but if I show you the same for version 2 you can see that we have some graphics already fulfilled with information being collected and this is what we really want also for version 3 of the protocol but first we need to make a small change in our configuration we will not have as many items as we have for version 2 and Zapix templates for SNMP uh, need to uh, be changed in order to work properly for both version 2 and version 3 of a protocol you can also clone the template and adapt uh, to your needs so now let me show you what needs to be changed let's enter slash etc slash zabbix folder I'll open zabbix uh, server conf file and look for start pullers as you can see we have a default number of 5 we'll change these to 1 only and this is what we need to get our templates to contact our VOS router properly and collect the data uh, we need so let's call it a fix for the unsupported items on SNMP version 3 let's restart the service to establish this new configuration and after we do it let me show you 
that with SNMP walk tool we will get all the information we need so if you need to test the communication and to verify that you are really getting the data from the server you can use this tool so let's call snmp walk with minus v3 for version minus u vios for user minus a for the authentication minus capital a for the passwords minus x for the privacy and minus capital x for the passwords and now i'll put minus l for authentication privacy the machine to be contacted 192.168.3.253 and finally the oid and as you can see i'm collecting lots of data so it's working perfectly we can be sure that Zabbix will also get this information from our VOS router. So now we can proceed to our uh, network monitoring. Let me call term shark minus E ENP 0 S8 network interface just to show you some of the network traffic that we have here when this communication is being made. Let me use a filter for the IP address and SNMP protocol. And as you can see, I'm already uh, seeing some uh, network traffic. Let's wait a little bit until it decodes and uh, with the filter already applied. And let me remind you that this is an encrypted connection, so we don't really see the information itself in with clear text because this is the main advantage of using version 3 of the protocol so we are communicating we have some network traffic we can move on to see if we have some changes and as you can see the number of items has increased substantially let me show you last data we have lots of information already being collected more than one screen in fact so this is very very different if i show you some graphs you can see that i am already collecting more different information from my router let me browse here and scrolling down the web page and this is what we need has Zabbix keeps making its evolution, changing the templates, we will for sure collect more data. Now, let me show you also that we have some triggers for both protocols. I will click here on version 2 to show you that the triggers are default. You can disable them or enable depending on what kind of uh, information you need to be uh, uh, aware of. Zabbix uh, will report you for all the triggers that are enabled. And of course, for any trigger you need uh, to use a different way, you can open it. You cannot change this, but uh, you can see how it works by reading the description clone it and we are editing the clone at this moment so we can change how it works and adapt uh, to our needs okay so you can do this for any clone uh, version of uh, a trigger you need to uh, change so as i said you just have to adapt it to your needs now let me go to the dashboard this is the main dashboard. Let me go back and open a VOS dashboard I have prepared. Uh, here you can see some of the data being collected. 
the red on the left from uh, VOS SNP uh, version 2 and on the right uh, with green color SNMP version 3. So this is our final result for today's uh, video and uh, here you can see that we have completely configured two VOS routers using SNMP protocol version 2 and version 3 not encrypted or with encryption so you can adapt to your network and the type of devices you are running on SNMP protocol. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and please subscribe to the channel in order to support it. Help me reach 1000 subscribers and press the bell button if you want to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Thank you once again for watching. See you on my next video. Bye bye.